Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And believe it or not, we have a lot of Quicksilver missions to do today, so it's gonna be an interesting day. Or night, in my case, because again, recording this kinda late. Um, I guess it's gonna be early morning in a couple of minutes, so that's, there's that. Eliminate hazardous flora. Okay, good. A good, nice and simple one to start off the Quicksilver with. Oh, right, I was gonna check. Uh, so the new I was gonna actually do it on Monday and I totally forgot to check out the progress on this come on let's see okay 24 percent hmm okay we'll get there we'll get there the more quicksilver missions people do the faster it is so there's time all right there's a timer now I, I totally forgot about that it's either that or I've never noticed it, which is entirely possible. It's just like with the uh, building more uh, uh, more of certain materials, like for oh, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna remove my tab there. That's fine. Uh, so actually, this is something I didn't know, and uh, yeah, I've been playing this game for a while now. <laughs> There's always something to learn, you know. It just goes to show. Uh, and apparently, you can build more than a single thing per click. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, which is, for example, metal plating, and if I press A or D here, well, D to be a bit more precise, I can build 10, uh, 20, 50, whatever, how many a I need, as many as I need. Yeah, that's something I didn't know. Actually, it was uh, it was on Discord a couple of uh, days ago, maybe maybe a couple of days ago, might have been a week. I don't know. It, it, it just t totally blew my mind. I did not know about this. I've never paid any attention to that screen. I just build them one by one if I need like a couple of them. Normally I'd prefer to buy them because metal plating is generally kind of useful to have, especially if you're building. So uh, in general I'll stock up on it. Oh, what is this world? Oh right, uh, No Man's Sky Fantasy has had an update recently. Uh, if you're playing the mod or if you're thinking of picking it up, there is a link down in the description for the uh, Nexus mods. The Nexus mod link to the... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just... What is this planet? I need to see it during the day. What? There's like snow here. Is that snow? It has to be snow, right? Like this has to be snow. I know it's like... Not very well textured for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe it's not snow. Look, the mountains have I am... amazed. Okay, yeah, stuff is just randomly appearing on screen. Ah, oh, there's a lot of stuff appearing on screen, okay. Uh, 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 I don't know what to say, this is... Uh, this is new. For no mask, and generally the biomes are just you know one sided. I've never seen this, or I have, and I haven't paid any attention. But no, I'm pretty sure I would have paid some attention at least. Okay, killing that plant is gonna attract the sentinel nearby, but that's fine. That was the mining game for a second there. I thought it was the the soul thing, the soul eater, animus beam, or whatever it's called. This is very interesting to me. No, this can't be snow. That's not how snow looks in New Mexico. We're gonna have to go to a frost roll to see afterwards. No. Is it? Is it No, it doesn't look like snow. I'm gonna have to go uh, to a frost world afterwards to see. Because I am thoroughly confused here. Alright, Hazardous Floor, we actually just passed one because I am just in total shock at the moment. Um, okay, that one's very tiny, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. So the mod does this, it randomizes the scaling on some of, well, all of them. All, all the Hazardous Floors, so they can be really small or really big. Which has its upsides and downsides. The upsides is, if they're very big, they're kind of easy to find and kill. Uh, if they're kind of small they could ambush you so if you're just starting off and have no shields and you run into like five of them, yeah it's not gonna be a pretty sight. 
which adds to a challenge, you know, just adds a little bit extra to that challenge on permadeath. Which, uh, which is fun. Uh, sorry, I'm just, is, I, I don't know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to see this, I guess, today. I have no idea. Uh, there's some more over there. Uh, granted, entering a cave would be far faster, and I do know that. But I, j I just want to be on the planet surface at the moment. We're definitely staying in the system. Okay, so there was supposed to be a lake here, isn't there? Or a river or something. Because this is from, uh, from the underwater. From the underwater biome. I am just thoroughly... I, I, I'm at a loss here. I'm not even looking for hazardous floor anymore. <laughs> uh, okay. The critters are kind of nice. I like them. I like these a lot. They just bounce around for no good reason. I guess their reason is, you know, that's that's the way they walk. Gravitina balls. Come on. Oh, there's one. Problem is, if certain stuff just randomly appears in front of you because for some reason the no Man's Sky generates terrain like right in front of you. So uh, even if I can scan it from uh, far away, yeah, sometimes it won't appear because I was looking at this place and I don't think I saw the hazardous floor there. Okay, there's a uh, sentinel. It's fine. No, do not scan me. I know that Red Mask said, oh, wow. Well. That apparently the sentinel fights are a little bit more fun now. Uh... You know what, we can do a little bit of fun. Alright, I can call my ship anytime, right? Nope, can't. But can I call my freighter while in combat? Yep, I can. That's actually good because this means I can call an exocraft. Oh, okay, that, I just one-shot it. That is interesting. That was with the mining beam as well. Hmm. Well, this makes the fights interesting. I mean, it's not like there were much of a challenge before, but, you know, this is something I would expect exactly at this point in the game when you've played like 100 hours and you have all the most powerful stuff and all the S-Class mods and whatnot to be able to just one-shot the tiny sentries. So, yeah, I agree with this. This is, this is... This might actually make me go back to Sentinel Combat instead of avoiding it. Because, seriously, it was just boring before. Like, let's face it, they're not going to kill you. Not unless you fall asleep in front of the monitor. Okay, I uh, actually wanted to recharge a life support there, but for some reason I ended up recharging something else. Let's grab a Tina ball. Oh, well. That one was small. Okay, I need one more, though. Well, I'm glad they're searching. Would be nice to see what the walkers do, though. I guess we can do it as soon as I find a frost planet. Which I definitely want to do now. Sentinels have lost my trace, I believe. No, they're still searching. Okay, there it is. For some reason it was stuck on zero for a little bit. Okay, now we're in the green biome? Wait a minute, the previous one wasn't green, right? Was it? Was I told- oh no, it's the lighting. Oh, it's the lighting. That's why it seems different. Okay. I just assumed. Yeah, that I was in a green bomb. I was. I'm too shocked by the snow, ice. I don't know. Okay, no, it's it's definitely not ice, right? Okay. These have wings. But let me actually call my ship. This is a very very intriguing planet. Let's do a low pass, just for a little bit. I am. I really want to know what's going on here. And afterwards, we're gonna go to a snow planet. Like, look at that! Granted, things will appear right in front of us. Oh, the Sentinels actually are searching, that's fine. That is... That can't be snow, right? No, it can't be. No Man's Sky doesn't have that sort of terrain generation, as far as I'm aware. Okay, good thing you can reverse. 
Otherwise that would that can easily mean a death sentence sometimes. Okay, we're going into nighttime again. You know what? That's fine. I think I have enough. That is very interesting to Okay, can I please leave? Thank you. Now I wanna stay in the system, I need to remember that. Now let's find a snow planet. I do know where there's one, you know, our home base is built on a snow planet, but I want one here. Just because it's gonna be a little bit easier. Uh haunted emerald planet, no. That's not gonna be, that's a green. That's blue-ish, but it doesn't look like a frost world. So it's probably yeah, it's not poisonous. I think that's what that was all the planets. There might be a co oh, there's one. That is Forsaken, yeah. Anomalous, so no. Oh, whoa, would you look at that? No, that one's definitely not a frost world. You can sort of tell, yeah. Captain another anomalous. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, sorry, I thought I saw something there. Apparently nothing. Okay. Uh, actually no, let's not go to the space station. Uh, or I am still looking for S-Class upgrades for the Minotaur, so... Yeah, why not? Let's go there. Let's go for a little bit. Should only be just like a... A landing. And a takeoff. Interesting. Oh. Oh boy, yeah, this is gonna be an interesting landing today. I think this is pretty much caused because of the speed. Uh, the mod does actually increase your uh, speed, the flight speed, the pulse jump speed to be able to be more precise, and the warp speed. So, and the thrust, no, sorry, oh my god, I confused myself there. The pulse jump speed and the thruster speed doesn't increase uh, sub light speed though. Uh, I don't need that. I think I have an extra one, an extra S class one. I think I picked it up earlier. A couple of days ago. Let's purchase some upgrade modules. Nothing else class. That that's amazing. Hmm. Why is it in shop? Yeah, nice looking hauler. Oh well, too late now. Alright, let's resummon this. And I need to stay here. But in the system, I need to remember that. Sorry if you're a strange noise, I just need to take my headset off for a second. Uh, it might be a little bit creaky, it's like, kind of... I wouldn't say old deal, but generally no headset has lasted me this long, so I'm sort of happy with that. I do hope it lasts me twice as long. That, that'd be a miracle, but... I hope it does. You know, I shouldn't have said that, I probably jinxed it. Okay, let's see. Uh, I was with another person? Since when? What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think I actually have that much. Oh no, I forgot to stay in the system. Well, it's a nearby system, so we can find it back up again if I need to. I do have that much Vesium, so that's gonna be an easy one. And afterwards, Frost World. They're normally nearby systems. Normally. Like one or two jumps away if I recall correctly. Okay. Now what do I have here? Uh, laser module. Did I forget to install it? I probably forgot to install it, yep. No, we're actually in the same system! That is amazing! That is exactly what I wanted. Okay, good. Uh, so we already have... The Fesium. Oh boy, sorry, wrong way. We already have the Fesium. So we just need to land and it's gonna tell us where it wants it. Haunted Emerald Planet. Hmm. Okay. Note to self, do not dig up any emerald here. It's haunted. Hmm. Okay, let's see. It's like, it's like Fesium detect, like... I don't think you can get that in a normal way, I think you have to farm it from animals or from a farm. Which is why I really don't want to give mine away because I've actually been slowly- Okay. I've been slowly buying it out. Because I'm pretty sure I just need to land, but- Oh. 
Okay, you know what? We can do that while we're here. We can do the distrust. It'd be kind of funny if he's the one who wants Feasty. I'm like, what is he gonna do with it? Of course, it's a high security world. Go away. No, no, go away. Oh, they fly up really high. That's that's interesting. Now, where do I need to deploy? Okay, I'm not doing that because there's a sentinel nearby. We're gonna tango with them in a moment to see what how the quads deal. Uh, how we're gonna deal with the quads. This is this is not a snow planet. This is not a snow planet. It looks like it would though. No, it's not. No. Just the filter and the night time. Okay, how far away is that? Okay, no, no, no. No, oh, that's too far away for me. I'm one of those people who drives everywhere. Like even to the store that's really close by. By really close by, I mean like 15 minutes on foot away? Yeah, around 15 minutes. I don't want to carry this stuff back and I don't want to walk, okay? This is an interesting place to land and I have no idea what's going on. I think the game bugged out uh, because I pressed the landing probably before the... Sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, probably before... Uh, I'm going to need to reload here. Oh, there it is. As you can see, it's the new day now. Um, probably before the uh, trade terminal loaded in, so that happened. Yeah, well, you're stuck with this screen. The screen is actually really good. I love this thing. I don't know why, it's just, it's just really nice. For a loading screen, that is. I mean, it's still a loading screen. Ah, uh, of course, it's going to reset it. Okay. You know, let's, let's do it again. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, because we were in the mission, it's going to reset the mission. So, and even though our last... Ah, posi position not saved in multiplayer, but everything else is. Nexus mission progress is not saved. They must be completed in one session. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I sometimes forget that. Uh, I actually once... I don't know, was it on camera? Was that recording? It probably was. I don't really remember anymore. But, I was supposed to turn in the mission, yeah? And, I just exited. Oh, no, it probably wasn't on camera, And in that case. Yeah, I was supposed to turn in the mission and I exited. And, <laughs> when I logged back in, I was like, why am I at the Nexus? I shouldn't be at the Nexus. And then, two seconds later, ta-da, you know, I realized my mistake I was supposed to turn in the mission. I totally forgot to do it. Let's see, is it the same? Yeah, it is the same area, okay. It's just daytime because uh, the sun rotates in real time. Server time, not in... Okay, we just need to stay here for a couple seconds. Um, okay, is that prompt gonna go away now? Like, um, the critters are glitching out a little bit. There it is, okay, we got it. Now we can leave. It's a very bright place. Reminds me... That reminds me of... Riddick was the movie? I believe. Riddick? Yeah, Riddick. I think it's pronounced that way. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong about that. Uh, when they were escaping from the prison, like the planet actually got this hot during the daytime. Where it was lava hot. It was that bright. That's what it reminds me of for some reason. Considering I haven't watched that movie in, uh, hmm. Uh, fif fif 10, 15 years ish? Around? It's a very old movie. Yeah. Okay, now let's not do that again. I'm gonna wait for the green thing to actually show up. I'm not gonna do it again. Can I shoot? No, I can't. Would've been funny. But I guess out of security reasons, you know, they do disable your weapons when you land. Right, let's see... Okay, there it is, 750. Now can you give me back my Feastium, please? 
Oh, pretty sure it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Hey, can I buy it back? Of course not. <laughs> it's worth a try, you never know. Alright, now we need to return. Afterwards, we're gonna go out hunting a frost world. Frost planet. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on, jump. Okay, maybe I should have been aiming straight up. It would have been a little bit easier. Okay, just a quick jump so I can summon the Nexus. Or Space Anomaly. I believe they called it a Nexus once and it's just stuck with me since then. And by they, I mean Hello Games. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they did. Well, anyway. Let's see. Alright, so next is going to be finding a frost planet and initiating combat. So we're not going to do the last one today. We'll save it for a rainy day. Okay, there it is. I just want to see what it is. Construct an outpost. Okay, it's a good thing we're saving it for a rainy day. It's going to be different. Okay, and... Um, from here, or... No, I'm just going to beam back to the HQ. Instead of... Uh, hmm, what is this place, though? Did I get the station? I got the station right. Yeah, I got the station. I should be able to go back afterwards. To that planet. But probably won't need to. I just, I remember it. I remember how it looks. I'm just trying, I'm focusing not to, like, forget it at the moment because I'm very forgetful. So I want, I want my bases. And we are looking for, yeah, there's a lot of them. There it is, the HQ. The HQ because I'm very good with names. Yeah. Extremely well. Especially remembering them. Yep. Just don't tell the missus I don't know her name anymore. I've forgotten it. Guess it doesn't really matter. It's too late for us. You know. We've been together for... Oh my god, way too long. I don't remember. I don't, to be honest, I don't. I don't know how people remember. I remember the date, sure. Not the year, no. No, it's too much work. Okay, this is, uh... Yeah, at least I named the, the planet something, but I think that was a part of its original name, so... Yeah. What was that? Should probably pick up the Indium here, while I'm here. Yeah, that was not snow. No, 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 yeah, yeah, this is snow. That was not snow. That was probably, I don't know, some sort of rocks? I suspect. Okay, let's go pick a fight, if we can find a sentinel. This planet has... Not changed, has it? No, it shouldn't have. Come around, where's the sentinels? I think I heard one. Now I'm up. Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't hear one. I was obviously. Uh, come on, you should be attracted by the sound of me. Come on, where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, there it is. It's <laughs> that's so funny. It just dies. Oh, uh, come on. I want a walker. Okay, yeah. The, the train manipulator, manipulator is not gonna be able to kill us. Pulse spitter. No, scatter blaster. Of course, scatter blaster always. Um, hmm, maybe not Scatter Blaster. Oh, wow! The maneuvers. It's like, surrounding maneuver! Oh, what the? Uh, didn't I kill that? Or did I just take down the armor? I think I just took down the armor. Oh, well, Red Mask said they would be more fun. How much damage? Okay, they're not doing much damage. So that's good. Means I can tour around with them a little bit. There should be more sentinels arriving in a little bit. I'll just take care of the flora here. Just to get rid of it. Now let's see. The dogs and the quads. Sorry, quads and walkers because I... Yeah, these are quads. Or dogs. Where is everybody? 
Where are they? Okay, so the quad. Okay, uh, a lot less shots to kill, so I'm happy with that. Okay, I need that though. I really do. It's not just projectile ammunition, it gives you a quad servo as well. Yeah, there it is. And I don't have those. I used to have a lot of them until... Uh, I, I believe I used up some of them and the other ones I don't know what I did with. I had like 10, 15-ish from my old days when I used to do a lot of Sentinel combat. Those were the days. Okay, there's a quad. Okay, so I'm actually really glad that the mining beam does almost nothing to this. I'm really glad that about that because this is supposed to be like the, you know, elite sentinel as they say. Yeah, that's perfect. It's so lovely. Revamped combat system. Indeed. Oh, they're searching? No, 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 you're not searching. You need to find me. I need the walker. Where are they? Come on, where are you? I can't see anything. And I probably should recharge my uh, shielding so I can see a little bit better. Okay, they're obviously not searching, but they might be stuck somewhere. The AI in general, even in the base game, is uh, not the greatest. I've had them uh, actually be stuck. That was a very long time ago. I believe I was, I was still recording normal No Man's Sky. And I was farming, I was fighting and farming, and one of them actually got stuck underground for no good reason, and... Yeah, it was just... I was wondering why, just, it was searching, and the timer wasn't going out, because it was basically underneath me. Where are they? No, 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 come on, no, 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 no. I need you to find me, so I need to do damage to something. So that you can actually show up, or not. Where are they? Please tell me they're not stuck underground again. They might be, they might be. Yeah, I don't see them anywhere. Either that or they spawn somewhere really weirdly. Oh, of course now there's one close by. I'm gonna go to uh, my previous destination. If I can find my base. I believe it's somewhere around here. Where is it? What? Ah, oh, there it is. The whole point of the base was for it to be hard to find. Not by me, obviously, but... Mm, I guess it works, so there's that. Don't mind that, it just disappears within a couple of seconds. Because the base is very, very small. It doesn't extend in 20 different directions. Alright, I did make that, I'm sorry. I, I haven't been down there in a while, I've forgotten. Why is there no power? Why is there no power? Okay, that, that is interesting. Why is there no power? I should have more than enough power generation. It, it isn't loaded in, is it? Oh, my power supply isn't loaded in, is it? It's probably unloading the entire cell, the entire base over there, even though it should be one base. Okay, you know what? I have, I think I know how to fix it. Just go there, jump down, and should be fixed, I hope. Granted, I should have removed these uh, beacons a while ago, but I'd never be able to find my power supply if I don't, if I remove them. And yes, uh, for anybody who hasn't actually seen this, uh, when I was building the base, because that was a while back, this is where the power supply is. Just don't fall down. Because this was where they, where we had a spot to generate power. Okay. Oh, I'm actually gen. What? No, I can't see the numbers. How much power is that? Low field strength. No electromagnetic field. What? No, no, no. There was an electromagnetic field here. Okay, it's generating 101 now. Here. 99, 99, what? I don't understand. No field, there was a field here. Hmm, 
Well, I'm going to have to dig into this. I suppose that, well, I am going to be building a different base anyway, but still, this was still supposed to be sort of a farming base, you know, just saying. Oh well. Something's gone wrong. But yeah, there was definitely uh, an EM field here. I mean, I lucked out that the EM field was nearby. Because I wasn't planning on it. Uh, right, I actually need to change the scanner. How was it? Uh, okay. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There is a field here. There it is. There's this hot spot. So, uh... I don't know what exactly is going on here. No idea. It said no electromagnetic field detected. Our grid status overloaded. Generator status low field strength. Hmm, I'm gonna have to figure this out uh, off camera. I, I might add a couple more of these to see what happens. Uh, for now though, uh, I'm gonna be ending things off here. Yeah, I was gonna go fight, but we can do that in the next episode as well. For now, though, uh, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.